at our school? Impossible. Oops. Guess you're fired, old man. No more cleaning supplies. Now get out of this school and do not come back. Or do you know what I will do? I'll burn you so bad, you'll never be able to move your sorry body again. I'm not coming back. I'll never come back again. Never again. <laughs> Maple, if you give me this priceless and totally rare copy of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which until recently was sitting on your desk, and give me some lunch. Lunch is in the cafeteria, boys, and if you wouldn't mind, Miss Kathy here is getting a little hungry. Now, Lon, could you get her some Cheerios and celery? Uh, yes, I will, Miss Juniper, uh, if I get some lunch out of it. Who's 
the book you asked for, Theodore. <laughs> so, who was this guy who came through the ceiling anyway? The, the, the fire ghost! <sighs> I would advise you to get out of this school right now! So, so get, get out, out right, right now, now or I'll burn down, down the entire school. mention it. I left my copy of Medusa the Biography under my pillow and forgot all about it. Sleep? What's sleep? <laughs> Sorry, Nalon. I know it isn't funny at all. So I take it that none of us slept a blink last night. What a shame. I wish we could have hit the straw at least for a little while. It slept a wink and hit the hay. Oh, yeah. Hey! I found something cool in this book last night! What book? But this is the biography? Of course not! What made you think that? Oh, nothing really. Oh, good. So, um, anyway, it's called The Secrets of Applewood Elementary, uh, and it's a really good book, but it, the copy's kind of worn, and the spine's been cracked about a hundred times. Uh, I'd say that it was old, but I haven't seen the copyright page. In fact, I don't think there is one, but nonetheless... GET TO THE point. POINT! Oh, very well. Um, so anyways, on page 63, uh, um, or was it 212? Uh, I could have sworn it was 55, but maybe it isn't. Um, oh. oh, and so anyway, on page 67, I just checked and that's the page, I saw this very interesting story. It goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a lad named John Hendrick. John Hendrick was a very independent young boy who spent most of his time hiding inside his locker from bullies. If you ask me, that's a silly place to hide. I mean, he could have hid under the table or maybe... Um, I want to hear the rest of the story! Stop interrupting! Oh yeah, the story. That. Uh, he spent most of his time hiding inside his locker from bullies. But one day, for some strange reason, he got lost and couldn't find the exit. Everyone else had already gone. And then, the science room caught fire. Unfortunately, John happened to be in that very room at the time. He died of both smoke inhalation and a heart attack. They say his spirit still haunts the halls of Applewood Elementary. Could you, could you, um, give us a short -er version of the story? Oh, uh, they say his spirit still haunts the halls of Applewood Elementary as a ghost made of fire. He will not stop until he finds the exit that he will never find. Well, that was a contradicting statement, wasn't it? It's like, he won't stop until he finds the exit. Oh, and by the way, he won't ever find the exit. Unless we help him find the exit. You're, You're crazy. crazy! Why us? There couldn't be somebody else. Like, somebody strong. Like, like... He'll burn us to a crisp. He'll reduce us to cinders. It is useless! Yeah, but if we do it and fail, at least we can say we tried. Oh, yes, if we're still alive, that is. Uh, Ronald... I hate to say it, but I think I believe with now Wand here. What? Oh, come on, you guys. I mean, if we do this, we'll be heroes like Theseus or Percy Jackson or Harry Potter or any of my other idols. Uh, and so what if we die? We'll be famous. It'll be awesome. For trying and failing. Come on now, on. It looks like we're gonna have to move this on our own. Yeah. Right. Mm. Hey, wait for me. Theodore, you're not supposed to be reading. You're supposed to be moving the fire ghost into the hallway. Oh. 
Now, for not by a teacher or a student, be sure not to let the dog out of the bag or spill the rice about anything. Ah, it's let the cat out of the bag or spill the beans. Gosh. Speaking of that, do you want to trade lunches with me? I have a big bag of moldy beans and, uh, some apples from last week. Who on earth would want that? Nobody. Theodore, you've forgotten. It's six o'clock, way past lunchtime. And let me remind you for the last time, you are not supposed to be reading. You're supposed to be luring the fire ghost into the hallway so we can trap him. Uh, sorry, I was too busy reading, uh, to hear what you said. Oh. Oh, and by the way, this book is part of my plan. Uh, 